Swiss bank Bank Pictet admits hiding $5.6 billion of Americans' money from IRS. This post received a score of 6,400, with an up-vote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. If the bank complies with the terms of its deal, the Justice Department has agreed to defer prosecution for three years and then dismiss a charge of criminal conspiracy to defraud the IRS. How many account holders are elected members of office? Let's name names. The government would rather get the back taxes owed. Government could have accomplished both, collect on the fine and get the back taxes, with penalties, but suspended, defer the prosecution, allowing the bank to budget, bow for the fine if imposed just like HSBC did. The government can do whatever it wants. It could have arrested the people responsible and gotten its money. Obviously, in this case it wants to tell the rich people, no harm, no foul, just keep up the profitable criminal acts and we'll give you a minor slap on the wrist if we catch you again. Jail time is only for poor people. What are you talking about? This is how they get the bank to cooperate so that they snitch on their customers and underscore catch the rich people underscore. Otherwise, they criminalize bank execs in Sweden. All that does is bar them from entering the country because the US has no real power to persecute them. And then those execs burn the records and the trail goes cold. This is the government calling their shots to actually catch and persecute the rich people. Switzerland, not Sweden. Ah, uh, sorry, my bad. Point still stands though. Pretty valid point. They pretty much do the same thing in other organized crime. Offer decent plea deals to all the low-level people so that they can get more people at the top. The bank used a variety of means to hide those accounts, according to the Deferred Prosecution Agreement. It held clients' account-related mail at the bank, rather than sending it to the clients in the U.S., in order to help ensure that documents reflecting the existence of the accounts remained outside the United States and beyond the reach of U.S. tax authorities. The Pictet Group maintained about 529 offshore entities for the U.S. accounts in question during the relevant time frame. The group also helped the U.S. tax evading clients keep undeclared money offshore by transferring funds from undeclared accounts to accounts that appeared to be held by non-U.S. clients. It's a cottage industry to them. They literally employ departments of people all focused on evading taxes. That's kind of the problem with the rich. They have lawyers, advisors on board whom will find the edge of what's allowed. Some as we see here will go well beyond that. They retain typically better educated, more creative lawyers, accountants, etc. than the IRS has. The IRS on the other hand needs to follow the law, typically underfunded and let's face it, most weren't the strongest in university. It's an unfair competition and the rich know this. Hence why it's easier to tax the poor, they don't have the capacilities to pull these sort of tricks. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.